Israel was holiness unto the Lord, and the first fruits of his increase, all that devour him shall offend, evil shall come upon them, saith the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and are become vain? Neither said they, Where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt? The first commandment of the Most High is that there should be no other gods before me. The second commandment is just like the first. You should not make any graven image of anything that is in the waters, in heaven, or beneath the earth. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. The Most High went on to say, You should not bow down to serve the graven images, because he, the Most High, is jealous. The Most High said he would visit the iniquity of the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of all who hate him. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. In the Most High's perspective, bowing down to graven images and serving other gods is hate towards him. The Most High consider his people to be an enemy, all who transgress his laws. The Most High wants to be first in his people's lives. The Most High do not want his people to place anything above him. The scripture said that if you love your parents and children more than the Most High, you're not worthy of the Most High. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. The sin of idolatry is a great sin the Most High hates. Idols cannot do anything for you, nor could idols save your lives. The Most High is aware that there is no power in the gods made from man's hands. The fact that his people would trade him for the useless idols of the heathens provoked the Most High to jealousy. Throughout the Israelites' journey, they have forsaken the Most High in every generation. The Bible documents the back and forth between the Most High and His people. The Most High has to plead with His people in multiple generations to return to Him. Wherefore I will yet plead with you, saith the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. Pleading with His people did not stop the Israelites from seeking the face of other gods. Because the people of the Most High left their first love, the Most High gave them into the hands of their enemies and the gods they placed before him. The people of the Most High has forsaken him up until this day. The scriptures compare the Israelites' treason against the Most High with playing the harlot. For of old time I have broken thy yoke, and burst thy bands, and thou saidst, I will not transgress, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest. Playing the harlot. Many Israelites got lost playing the harlot that they got entangled with the biggest harlot of them all, the mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church. This harlot produced daughters all over the world. Until this day, a lot of Israelites and indigenous black people are infatuated with the head leader of the synagogue of Satan that they cannot see past the doctrines coming from the mother harlot. Through her charms, she has mesmerized many with her riches and rituals that many Israelites and indigenous black people abandoned their first love, the Most High, for the idols that came from her. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. I know a lot of Israelites and indigenous black people in the awakening believe they have left the mother harlot and returned to serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth. Many Israelites have physically left Rome, but their spirit and heart still belong to Rome. A good example I can give you to help you understand, some people believe that chattel slavery doesn't exist anymore. 
We no longer see Israelites being sold for prostitution and for wine for their masters to drink. And they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for an harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they might drink. In the mind of many people, slavery doesn't exist. Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world, slavery still exists. Chattel slavery morphed into the employment system. Instead of forced labor with no wages, some people volunteer to work for Rome at low wages, while others create their own business but still have to pay Rome taxes. And Jesus answering said unto them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. If you don't believe Rome plays a major role in your life, who was the Caesar in the Bible? Julius Caesar Augustus was the Roman emperor at that time. Give to Caesar what is Caesar and to the Most High what is the Most High. This is definitely an altered scripture, placing this Roman emperor at the same level with the Most High. Tithes and offerings had nothing to do with money in the Old Testament. Remember, Israelites, one of the gods of the heathens is money. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. And as soon as the commandment came abroad, the children of Israel brought in abundance the first fruits of corn, wine, and oil, and honey, and of all the increase of the field, and the tithe of all things brought they in abundantly. The idol of gold and silver is what gives the workers of iniquity power in the beast system. Look at what happens to black people who dare to expose them. Regardless of how much money an indigenous black person has, he or she must obey master, or master will destroy them while playing victim. The employment system is still forced labor because if you don't work, you don't earn money to live. The beast system operates with money. Without money, you can't provide for your family and self. The people have no choice but to work. A lot of Israelites still operate under the slave mentality, a mentality that was transferred to them from previous generations. The heathens enforce the slave mentality as well. Whoever controls the mind controls the body. The heathens no longer have to force the Israelites and indigenous black people to do their will. Many Israelites and indigenous black people destroy themselves when they follow after the heathens. The scriptures say, learn not the ways of the heathens. Do not be partakers with them. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Slavery has also morphed into the prison system. Majority of the prisoners are people of color. Majority of the owners of the prison system are the other species of mankind. Nothing has changed in the B system. The descendants of the colonizers continue to oppress everyone. The Israelites and indigenous black people must wake up. The workers of iniquity deceive you into believing things have changed. Censoring the voice of the people that speak up on matters that plague the world and fighting racial prejudice shouldn't be a thing in 2022. However, the other species of mankind say one thing and their behavior say another. Those who are in power make the rules. Those who rule with the dark powers of this world love the negative energy. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Israelites, many of you believe you have left Rome. You cannot come out of her if you still have covenants with Rome that you haven't broken. Leaving religion is one thing, but separating from the mother harlot is another obstacle. Remember, whoever controls the mind controls the person. The scriptures say, do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. In order to be transformed, you have to renew your mind. Renewing your mind means starting over and getting rid of all doctrines of devils taught to you in Rome. Only the Most High can renew your minds. 
If the doctrines from Rome was of the Most High, there wouldn't be a need to come out of her and renew your minds. Altering Rome's doctrines to uplift you and your people is not breaking the covenants you made with Rome. A half-truth is still a lie. Rome has destroyed the Israelites and indigenous black people with numerous doctrines of devils. Israelites, idolatry is still a problem. A lot of you have not repented from the sin of idolatry. Many of you are still in idolatry when you worship Rome's Messiah. Turning Rome's Messiah black still makes him an idol. There shouldn't be no other gods before me, said the Most High. A lot of Israelites still worship the Messiah. The real Messiah said on multiple occasions, worship and serve the Father. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. The first commandment of the Most High said, There should be no other gods before the Most High. Worshiping and serving the Most High does not mean you're rejecting the Messiah. Everyone the Most High gave to the Messiah, none will be lost. John, who was sent to bear witness of the Messiah, said, Repent, because the kingdom is at hand. The Messiah also said to our people, Repent for the kingdom is at hand. The Messiah did not say worship me or accept me. Israelites, ask the Most High to give you a greater understanding of the scriptures. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Israelites, Every time you read the scriptures, you will discover something new. The reason? The Holy Spirit is opening the sealed scriptures, revealing what was hidden to you. John did not tell anyone to worship the one that is coming after him, whose sandal he was not worthy to untie. Rome has taught you that you will be judged based on your belief of the Messiah and accepting him as your Lord and Savior. Later on, I will tell you why Rome pushed for the people to accept their Messiah as their Lord and Savior. The scripture said you will be judged based on your deeds. Only those whose names is written in the book will be saved. Who will render to every man according to his deeds. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Only those whose name is written in the book will be delivered. To get your name written in the book is based on your deeds. If you do the will of the Father, he will not deny you. Rome pushed that it's through faith. Israelites, the word of the Most High said, faith without works is dead. Israelites, dissect the doctrines of devils taught to you by the beast religion. And the scripture was fulfilled which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works, when she had received the messengers, and had sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is that also Israelites you can't get past the good works part of your journey you have to get rid of the spirit of hate and division among your brethren and start loving each other Rome has spoiled many to believe all they have to do is believe and hide behind a graven image you must do the work and repent to see the kingdom of the most high anyone the most high is pleased with will be written in the book of life and automatically will be under the messiah Everyone who will be saved was determined before the foundation of the earth was laid. The Most High already gave his people a deliverer. Let your ways please the Most High, so that when the time comes for the deliverer to gather his people, your name will be found in the book. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. 
and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Worshiping the Father means the Israelites are finally obeying the commands of the Most High and serving Him. Worshiping the Father means leaving paganism and idolatry behind and returning to serve the Father in the Spirit and in truth. The scripture said, the Father. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. How can the Israelites in the awakening return to serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth if Rome still reign in their heart? Rome has dethroned their first love. Rome's Messiah has first place in their heart. Our ancestors struggled with idolatry. This generation continued to struggle with idolatry. Israelites, I have said to you time and time again, you cannot have idolatry without witchcraft. Witchcraft and idolatry are brother and sister. They go hand in hand. The mother harlot's sorcery is high level sorcery. They must perform their rituals and sacrifice. They do their rituals and sacrifice right in your face and many of you cannot see. The mother harlot worship and serve the Satans. Where did the head leader of the Satan said he would sit? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. The book of Revelation said Antipas was murdered in the city where Satan lived. The city he was murdered in was called Bergamon. Back then, that city was a part of the Roman Empire. That city is not too far from the Vatican City today. Satan now seat is still in Rome. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days where an Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. Israelites, you cannot sit at the tables of devils and the table of the Most High. What do light have in common with darkness? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. You cannot fellowship with those who control the earth. The workers of iniquity do not serve the same God as you. Why continue to follow the doctrines of the beast religion? Why continue to go to their temples to worship? Why continue to let your oppressors rule over your spirit? Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. In order to dethrone Rome, you need to get rid of the doctrines, break the covenants, and come out of her. You have to let the Most High renew your mind. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people who come out of Rome still take Rome with them everywhere they go. Christianity has multiple denominations. Each branch still carry a remnant of the doctrines that comes from its foundation, the Roman Catholic Church. When I said the mother harlot has daughters, the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan has daughters in every nation. The purpose of the multiple faith under the umbrella of Christianity is to make sure the covenants the people made at the evil altars in those temples of sin continue to reign supreme. As long as the people do not break those covenants, Rome will continue to reign. In the scriptures, whenever our people return to serving the Most High, the first step, the Most High command of his people, destroy and burn down all of the high places, groves, and evil altars of the pagan gods. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess served their gods upon the high mountains, and upon the hills, and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. Simply walking away and not destroying the evil altars that tied your spirit to their gods will not deliver you from the strongholds placed on your life from the workers of iniquity in high places in religion. If you have eyes to see in every indigenous black nation, Rome has a prestigious temple that is well kept and manicured in that nation, while everywhere else in that nation is in poverty. 
Abraham, whose descendants you are, destroyed the idols of his father's house. Israelites, did you destroy the idols of Rome out of your heart when you came out of her? Or did you bring the idols of Rome into the awakening? And Abram came to his father's house and saw twelve gods standing there in their temples. And the anger of Abram was kindled when he saw these images in his father's house. And Abram said, As the Lord liveth, these images shall not remain in my father's house. So shall the Lord who created me do unto me, if in three days' time I do not break them all. Rome influenced all religion. Rome has a hand in every religion in the beast system. Rome cannot be the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan if it doesn't control all religion. Israelites, that is how all religion has some form of our culture heritage in it. Last week you learned you live in two realms, the physical and the spirit realm. A lot of Israelites left Rome physically in the flesh. However, their spirit is still tied to the evil altars they went to pray and give their life to during the altar calls in the church. To those of you who haven't repented from these evil altars and asked the Most High to deliver you from the evil altars speaking against your life, the time has come for you to do that. Repent, conduct a fast, and ask the Most High to deliver you from the evil altars speaking against your life. The covenants you established when you went to the altars of the beast religion to pray to the idol hiding behind that altar, your enemies can enforce the terms to that covenant until you break the covenant. Remember, Israelites, the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they do it unto devils and not to the Most High. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Behind every altar in Rome is a devil. Israelites, the reason it was important to Rome to have the people accept the false Messiah as their Lord and Savior, to establish a covenant with them. The workers of iniquity deceive many to accept a Messiah that is not of the Most High. The false Messiah is an idol. The people are led to believe Rome's Messiah is the Most High and gave their life to the Messiah. Behind the scenes, the people were establishing an evil covenant with a false god. When the kingdom of darkness established the covenant, it gave them power over you. The Most High will honor all covenant. Israelites, that is why it is important to know what you worship. Don't follow trends. Remember, narrow is the road that leads to life, and a few will find that road. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. If you're looking for truth, you will not find it in the beast system nor the beast religion. The truth will set you free. The beast system don't want the indigenous black people to be free but in bondage. The beast culture is plagued with falsehood. Only the spirit of the Most High can reveal the truth and tell you the things to come. The scriptures told us when an unclean spirit is cast out of a person, it goes to a dry place looking for rest. When it can't find rest in a new home, the unclean spirit returned to the person it was cast out of. When it returned, it find the person delivered. The unclean spirit decided to go find other unclean spirits more wicked than itself and enter back into that person and dwell there. The scripture said the state of that person will be worse than before. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people have been delivered from the strongholds of Rome. Many have been sanctified in the awakening by the words of the Most High. The word of the Most High is truth. The truth shall make you free. Many Israelites believe if they've been delivered from an unclean spirit, they are delivered from that spirit or stronghold forever. According to the scriptures, the devils will return and keep returning. Deliverance is a continuous battle. Once you're delivered, you have to live a life that is pleasing to the Most High and follow the commandments of the Most High to resist the devils. Submitting to the Most High is how you resist the devils, as well as praying and fasting. Once you submit and resist, the devils will flee from you. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 
Every time the unclean spirits return, you have to submit to the Most High, engage in spiritual warfare, and the devils will flee. A lot of Israelites are re-establishing the covenants in the spirit realm as well as in the physical realm. The stronger you get spiritually, the more deceptive your dream life becomes. That is why you have to be careful and ask the Most High to give you understanding and interpret your dreams and visions for you. The high level workers of iniquity in the beast religion are knowledgeable about the spirit realm. Some of them can astral project into your dreams. Witches and warlock astral project into your dreams all the time. Pay attention to the people or faces in the background of your dreams. Israelites, the most high do not give you insight into the spirit realm for no reason. The high level workers of iniquity in religion are constantly doing rituals and sacrifice to remain in control. They pray and fast to their idols for power. This is a continuous practice for them. Your enemy, the devil, do not sleep. The scripture said your adversary prowl around like a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Israelites, you must pray and fast to fight all the darts from the enemy. You have to put on the whole armor of the Most High. Reading the Bible and knowing the scriptures is not enough, Israelites. You need understanding. Coming out of the beast religion while you're still living in the beast system is a constant battle. You are on a battlefield. It's time that you start to view your environment as a battlefield. You fight on a battlefield. Therefore, Israelites, every time you break the chains, the enemy will return. These devils claim you as their property. Every time a devil is cast out and you break an evil covenant, you must get ready for battle. The more Israelites that break free from the stronghold of Rome, you will see how quickly they fall. Look how hard the imposters are fighting to maintain the chosen people image. They are sinking. This gospel of truth will be taught in all the kingdoms of this world. Once that happens, then the end will come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Regardless of how you feel about a person, if their platform is big, the people will hear the truth sooner. If Rome was teaching the truth, the end would have been here by now. Today, the Most High is igniting a fire all over the world through the awakening. The Most High is using the few that was chosen to do His will. Remember, many are called, but a few are chosen. Rome has money, power, and billions of followers. Yet Rome cannot overcome the Holy Spirit that was poured out on the people of the Most High that is speaking truth and telling the remnant the things to come under the power of the Holy Spirit. Who can stand against the Creator of all? The Most High do not need Rome's influence to destroy them. The Most High will use the people the beast system despise and believe are fools to shame the wise. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised. Hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. Israelites, no matter how big a devil appear to be, the Most High has given you power over all the enemy and by no means can they hurt you. Rome may appear to be big and powerful, Rome has been defeated already. Destroy their high places and evil altars in your life. Break every covenant and most importantly, repent. Israelites, do not give Rome first place in your heart. That space is reserved for the Most High. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. Religion is high level sorcery. Your enemies fight you in the spirit, while many Israelites fight in the flesh. You need balance. Rome is the mother harlot. The scripture said all nations have drink of her wine. Rome and her daughters is all over the world. Even in the poorest nations, you will find an evil altar from Rome. Many nations were deceived by her sorceries. All the blood of our people and indigenous black people is credited to her. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee, for thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived, and in her 
was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that was slain upon the earth. Israelites, do not let the mother harlot order your steps. Break all covenants with Rome. Do not let their doctrines of devils deceive you. Do not let Rome's Messiah deceive you. Many Israelites do not know that a lot of the way you move and live your life are ordered by the workers of iniquity through sorcery. If you don't break those covenants and not fasting, praying, and repenting, the devils will continue to rule over you. The steps of a good man and woman are ordered by the Most High. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Israelites, allow the Most High to renew your minds. Do not be afraid to step outside the box. All who is not afraid of truth and the word of the Most High will stand apart. The scripture said only a remnant will return. Although our people is as numerous as the sand of the sea, only a remnant of our people will return. Do not let Rome steal your salvation. Rome has nothing to offer you but bondage. Israelites, pray and ask the Most High to dethrone Rome out of your heart. Let the consuming fire of the Most High overthrow every idol. Let the wrath of the Most High break every evil altar. To the remnant, give the Most High first place in your heart, for he is your first love. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. For the Lord God of hosts shall make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land.